Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at the HYM 400P lawnmower. So I've removed all the packaging and laid the contents out here on the bench for you to see. First of all, we have the mower itself. And as you can see, the top part of the handle is attached by the OPC handle, which is the start-stop handle. So be very careful not to twist or damage this cable when you lift it out of the box. Then, as you can see, at the bottom of your picture here are the four wheels. A little bit of fitting involved, we'll go through that. Then you have the two lower handles, which are two individual handles. A little bit of assembly needed, we'll go through that. And be very careful to look in the bottom of the packaging because these are just put on very loosely in the box and if any of these knobs and bits and bobs and spaces are missing there's a good chance that they're in the bottom of your box so check the bottom of the packaging carefully before disposing of it and we do recommend that you keep hold of your packaging should there be any issue with your machine then you have the packaging to return it to us then we have the large grass collection basket There is a quick start guide which basically explains everything I'm doing here in this video. And look, in this bag is a comprehensive user manual. Now I do recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before using your mower. There is a spark plug spanner and handle, four little plastic hub cups for the wheels, a spanner and there are four nuts in the bag as well for the wheels again. So moving on from there, we'll start with the assembly. But that's the contents of your packaging. So my first job is going to be to fit these two lower handles. Now, when I assemble it, I'm going to place this upper handle over here out of the way for the time being. Again, taking care not to kink this cable. You'll see here that there is a hole in the plastic molding. And that is to take these screws. Now, fairly simply, if I was to attempt to put this one in here, as you can see, the handle would be facing the wrong way in the lawnmower. So you'll know that this handle, and again, it's the one with the pigtail on it, is the right hand side from the operator position. And then this one here, as you will see, when I push it down in, put that screw in through that hole to lock it, this will be going in the correct direction. So the first thing I'll do is just loosen off this screw with a crosshead screwdriver. Okay. So now we'll simply put this tube down into the base. Pushing it down, I can wiggle it all the way down until I see the two holes line up at the bottom. Now I can't see from this side so I'm going to have to come around there and have a closer look and I'll show you when we're correct. But it's straightforward enough because when you look through this hole you'll be able to see the hole in the grey tube. So having pushed the tube fully down I can now verify that the two holes are lining up, the hole in the grey pipe and the hole in the plastic moulding line up and I can simply refit the screw. Now I'll just start the screw and not tighten it at this stage. So having fitted the lower handles and left the screw slightly loose which allows a little bit of wriggle room, I'll remove the fittings from the top of the handle here. On this side, the far side, it consists of a nut, a pigtail, a plastic washer, and a bolt. I'll just leave the bolt there for the moment. And again, exactly the same here. A little hand wheel, a little washer, and the bolt again. We'll just leave it there loosely. So my next stage is going to take the upper handle, and again, carefully taking care not to trap the control cable, and I'm just going to feed it over that bolt. So I'm taking care with this cable all the time, I'll just spring the frame out and I shall fit the bolt on this side as well. 
So I'll just put that there loosely right. So the bolt is now through there. You've got this plastic washer with a half round on the underside as you can see. And I place that against the tube and then on with the nut. And I'll tighten that nut down at this stage. There we are. And I'll do exactly the same on, th on this side, but I'm going to fit the little pigtail. So I'll just squeeze them together, push down on the plastic washer first, on with the pigtail, and on with the plastic nut. Exact repeat of what I did on that side. So having fitted the upper handle and tightened up both of these hand wheels, I can now go ahead and tighten up the two screws, one on either side, that hold the lower handles. That's that one that hold the lower handles into the deck. So that's one side done. And that's the other. So that's the handles assembled. So having fitted the handles, we'll move on to fitting the wheels. So let's do the front wheels first. The easiest way to do this is to tip the lawnmower right back so that it's resting on its handle. And that gives you easy access to the two axles for the front wheels. So we'll take two of the wheels, they're all the same, and you will see that on one side of the wheel there is a boss that's sticking out, and on the other side a hollow. The boss that's sticking out goes on first. So I'll just pop those two wheels in position. The next thing we need to do, I'm working a bit blind here, is put one of the nuts on this wheel. I'll just put it on finger tight for now. And I'll do the same on this one. There we are. Now at this stage, again I'm working blind here, you can tighten up the nuts with the 13mm spanner provided. That's that one done. And that's that one done. That's the front wheel fitted. Just need to put the hubcaps on, we'll do that a little later. And I can lie the mower back down. So now to move on and do exactly the same with the back wheels. And I will have to just tip the mower to one side, place the wheels on, again with the wide hub facing inwards towards the mower. So that's the wide hub facing in towards the mower. I'll just tip it that way, pop the wheel in position. Again, on with the two nuts and it's ready for the hubcaps. So having fitted all four wheels and all four nuts are tight, the little hubcaps that come in the packet, simply pop those somewhere near over where they're going and just give them a little tap and on they go. And repeat that for all four wheels. When we were assembling the handles earlier, I mentioned the fitting of this pigtail here behind this nut. This particular machine, and on many, it has the pigtail already fitted for you here. So if that's the case, you won't need to use this little wire bracket, which we call a pigtail. Now what we need to do is to fit the pull starter through this loop. So I'll show you that. So to fit the pull starter through the pigtail, I'll just gently pull the pull starter out from the engine, allow myself, say, six, eight inches of slack, place the cord from the top over the stub of the pigtail, and just pull it this way and release it into position. I'll show you that once more. So lay it over the top, just pull the cable out and up to the top of the loop and let it go. So that's the pull starter fitted in its convenient position up by where you want it at the operator position. So a final little bit of tidying up. You'll see that it came with this plastic clip on the one handle. Just pull that clip off and we can just tidy up this cord here onto the inside of the mower so it doesn't get caught on anything and replace the clip and that keeps all the cables nice and tidy. So 
So now that we've done most of the assembly, we'll move on to putting engine oil in the engine. Now, this machine ships to you with no engine oil in it, and it's absolutely imperative that you fill the engine with engine oil before attempting to start. If you don't put any oil in, as you can imagine, it will blow up very quickly indeed. So this is the oil filler and dipstick tube. And to remove the dipstick, simply rotate it anti-clockwise and withdraw it. So having withdrawn the dipstick, you'll see that there is a little word on the bottom, it's very small indeed, that says MIN, minimum, and it says maximum just here. And between the two areas is a cross-hatched area. When we fill the engine with engine oil, we're looking to, for the oil level to come up just to where it says maximum on the dipstick. And we simply pour the engine oil in through this filler tube. When you're pouring the oil in, fill it in very gradually and allow the time for the oil to run down the tube into the engine before attempting to dip to check the measure. When you're dipping it, there's no need to screw the dipstick in. Simply place it on the top of the tube so and withdraw it again and check your level. So having filled the engine to the correct level, I'll replace the dipstick, screw it back in clockwise and just make sure it's tight. As you can see from the label on the side of the mower, a 15W40 or 10W30 oil is the oil we recommend. So once you've filled it up to the correct level, with either of these two oils, that's your oil filled. Let's move on to fueling your lawnmower. First, a little safety note, never fill the engine when the engine is hot. The exhaust will be hot, should you spill any fuel, it would be a fire risk. So allow it time to cool down before refueling your lawnmower. So, the initial fueling of the lawnmower, remove the fuel filler cap by turning it anti-clockwise and you can take it away. Now, fresh unleaded petrol, not two stroke or anything like that, it's fresh unleaded petrol, no additives. So fill the fuel tank to within about 25 millimeters of the top of the tank or an inch down from the top of the filler neck. This will allow room for expansion of the fuel. So having filled up with fresh unleaded fuel, back on with the fuel filler cap. And that's the fuel filled. So moving on, let's talk about starting your lawnmower and stopping it. Now there are three basic controls. The red primer bulb that you can see here on the front of the engine. The OPC handle, which is operator present control, which is basically an on-off switch for the engine. Whenever it is forward, the engine stops. The engine will not start and will not run. So you need to pull this handle back to start the lawnmower. So that's the OPC handle. And thirdly, you have the pull starter. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So to start the lawnmower, the first thing we need to do is to press this primer bulb here. Now, if the engine is cold, you will probably normally have to push it two to four times. Because this has never had fuel in it before, and I've only just filled it up from brand new, I would probably push this primer bulb five times. So one, two, three, four, five. That would be from brand new, just to prime the, the carburetor. If the engine is cold normally, two to four times, that's four. And if the engine is hot, say for instance, you've just stopped the lawnmower to empty the basket, you may not need to push it at all. You'll soon get used to that, but normally one to three times at most, depending on how warm it is. So that's the primer bulb. So in general use, to start the lawnmower, from cold, one, two, three, pull back the OPC handle, basically switching the lawnmower on, and pull on the pole starter. Once the engine has started, you're ready to go. To stop the engine, release the OPC handle, and the engine will stop. So that's starting and stopping your lawnmower. This lawnmower has a single point, five position height adjuster. So there's no messing about with spanners, having to adjust the wheels, that sort of thing. No tools needed at all. From its lowest height, there are five higher positions. By pulling out on this handle here, 
pulling it towards the front of the mower, you raise the deck one notch, two, three, four, and the original was five. So that would be the highest height. So that's five, four, three, two, one. Five positions. Simple as that. One-handed, all in one point. Adjusting the height has never been easier. Let's move on to how to fit the grass collection basket. If you look at the grass collection basket, you will see that there are two pins here sticking out from the side. Now those two pins, if you lift the rear flap, sit over these two brackets here. So to fit the grass collection basket, simply bring it into the back of the mower, sit it on the pins and release the flap. As simple as that. So lift the flap, remove the basket and lower the flap. Should you wish to just cut and drop with this lawn mower, then don't fit the basket and it will cut and drop. Never lift up this rear flap with the engine running as it gives you direct access to a rotating blade. Always allow time for the engine to stop before going in here. So that's how to fit and remove the grass collection basket. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, simply visit www.hyundaipowerequipment.co.uk. I've been Adrian, and happy mowing.